And welcome back to another day inside the brain of Monsoon Wolf, where you will never hear a swear word, and the violence will be kept to a minimum. And as always, today's video is going to be the best one ever, ever made. If you do like this video, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Today is episode 3 of Colony Survival. We are at 37 colonists, and in the last episode we built out our entire skyscraper of bedding. Ow, that hurt. And I have already moved the tables that were here for crafting down underground to right over here. I keep hurting myself, shame on me. But I am going to mine out a ton of this rock down here. And I want to move probably three or four wheat farms down here by the end of the day. I also want to have a bunch more colonists. So we're at 37 now. I would like to have quite a bit more. I think we've got a handle on, yeah, so we've got a lot of wheat. We are bottlenecked with our flour grinder. We need to go put another one of those in right now. And then I'm gonna get to mining. I wanna get a bunch of colonists recruited within the next hour or so. I have been a busy boy. I have cleared out all of that to the edge of our perimeter. I put in a barley farmer down here, so that way we can start researching deeper into... Oh, speaking of research, uh, that's tailoring. Where's my science station? There you are. Ugh. We research fishing. You have completed science fishing. Huzzah. So, I'll figure out what I want to research next. But, the next thing we're doing, going to do is clear out this entire stinking section. Oh, what a task we have ahead of us. So, I have hired on two more guards so that I can just not worry about getting invaded by zombies our food is going up very very slowly so we are optimized as far as how many villagers we have for the tasks so i'm not worried about losing anything our ammo is is being held up so everything's going good i'm free to just mine out this entire section today and then figure out what we want to add down here Another thing I wanted to update you on is I put in three more beehives. Ooh, they are missing their bars of soap, or whatever it is that they need, which is made in the oven. So I do need to put in another villager down below on an oven. But I have that going so that we can have more candles to keep our happiness up. We are currently at happiness level three, which I'm happy with. I'm, I can live with that. Oh, as I set this oven in, I do want to show I have cleared out 2,700 stone bricks. But I have I have been a busy boy. That is for sure. Let's recruit this. Colonist there. And beeswax. That's what it is. Let's set that to 100. So does that cover across all of them? Very good. I'm happy with this, the game setup. You change it in one, and it it changes it in all of them. That would be really annoying if you had to do it in each and every single block. Update on what we are going to research. We're going to research the cook and chicken farming. We can bo do both of those, I believe. We have firewood, we're going to have fish soon. I don't have anybody gathering fish, but I will very, very, very soon. And then we have lots of olive oil. Maybe not. It says we have 15 in stockpile. Apparently we don't, but we will. But we are going to have a lot of barley from our, our barley farmer there. 
So I'm going to take a break from gathering all of the stuff down there. Or mining that out. And I'm going to go get a bunch of dirt. From our little area over here that we're just going to strip mine. So I thought I had a lot of work done before. But after multiple trips out to go get dirt. After clearing all this out. Putting some lighting in around the edge. Around the perimeter. We've gotten to here. I took out the base layers. Two base layers. And the third layer on the bottom. Oh. My goodness. Welcome back guys. <laughs> Didn't realize it was daytime. And so we're about halfway done. Still got quite a bit to do here. But as you can see. Let's go to... So we are to the edge there and there. And I know I technically could build out one more. But I don't want to be right on the edge. Especially because when you go like this. Hit the number two. You see red. And red is scary to me. Not even going to worry about it. So for science. What we've been up to. We're going to complete cooking. Oh. And complete chicken farming. Now, chicken farming is going to allow me to have bronze arrows after we research archery. Requires bowstring. I don't even know where to make those. And requires bronze arrow. I might need to make that manually. We are going to do technologist. And here's, here's my train of thought. I want to do technologist, which is required for... The science bag, which I think we can dig out. We can hire a, or bring in a digger that will allow me to not have to mine all of this by hand. So I'm likely going to do this layer by myself. But if the digger actually removes the blocks, I can do two, three, four, five layers with diggers and not have to do it manually by myself. So, anyway, so he's missing bronze plates, it looks like, which I think are made in the anvil, which I have had not set up yet. So, let's hire fruit to fill all jobs. Let's take a look at you. So, you got no bronze plates. Let's pick you to medium. Hmm. Requires feathers. We don't have feathers, so he's not going to do that. So, he's going to immediately go to bronze plate. But, the other thing, we started that. We may as well just start the archery as well. Traders, I don't think I want to do get into that just yet. Unlocks cabbage farming. Fish meal. Let's just wait on that. Let's hold off. I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole just yet. I want to finish this layer. And I realize, I realize and I know, I'm fully aware... Hey, Monsoon Wolf, you've got so much land here that you're not using. Hey, Monsoon Wolf, you've got so much room up here that you're not using. I get that. But I want to clear out that entire section so I don't have to worry about running out of room for another five or six episodes. So I can focus on building really cool looking structures, really cool looking places. I can make this look more ornate instead of just a square block so I get it I understand I'm not being efficient but I'm not about that right now I I just want to complete that whole underground area and I'll probably just take that whole underground section and just turn it into wheat that way I never have to worry about running out of wheat for a long long time anyway so that's my update partway through getting that bottom section done and we're working on getting science, scientists researching so that eventually we can get to the diggers and see if we can not have to mine it out by hand. Step one to chicken farming. Put down an area. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move the chicken farm up top. Because I do want this whole section to be wheat down here. Not have to worry about that. Being inter intermixed with different things. Interesting that that guard's walking right there. So let's grab a chicken farm. 
Too large. How big can you be? Can be... Wow. That can't be very big. 28. Oh, shoot. Right there. Let's do two of you. Because why not? All right, two chicken farms. Let's recruit them to fill all jobs. And then let's go set the stove down below and see if we can't get better food. Which will ugh, not hurt ourselves. Please don't hurt myself. Here we go. Wait. Yep. And go to here. What do... Hmm. I don't know how to cook any of this. I think it just does it automatically. Requires lobster, honey, olive oil, and firewood. We have all of that. What about this? Raw fish, olive oil, and firewood. Should have lots of olive oil, right? Olive, olive oil. Made in the grindstone. Let's bump that olive oil up to 75. Needs olives. Means we have, we have a cool 4,500 olives. Not worried about that. Okay. Hey, I think we're gonna be okay here. I feel like we're moving along at a slow enough pace that we're not going to get behind. Because the last thing I want to do is get behind on food. And uh, it's higher, higher, higher. Recruit, recruit. Ah, we did it. The last thing I want to do is get behind on food and get behind on guards. And I am slowly working towards bows, which I'd imagine are more powerful than the slingers. So, we should be getting into bows very quickly. In fact, uh, what are we doing here? Let's go to our science. Bows. Bronze arrow and bowstring. Since we have three in the stockpile. I guess we can complete technologist. Who's that? We need linen bag, which I know we have. I think we have brick. How do we get brick? So many questions. How do we do brick? Mm, I'm not seeing it. Imagine that's in the workbench. It's not looking like it. Maybe in these, yes. We need clay. How do you get clay? Ugh. I am so confused how you get clay. I'd imagine clay is down by the water. Down by the bay. Hmm. Let's see if we can jump out here. Is this not sand? Alright, now let's go into safety and look at what we have in our inventory. Aha! Can't touch me. Sand. Um. Alright, well, let's figure out how we get clay. And just keep researching. We are getting a lot more zombies coming in, though. Fact. Fire slingers. Get rid of this. And set down a slinger there. Fire three more slingers. So that should be good. Put the light over here just so we can, we can see. Slingers are going to see them anyway and then let's hire fruit to fill all jobs now i want to check candles we're still doing okay on candles we're right on the edge i don't want to give any more candles for happiness and i think we're already at 2000 calories yeah we're at 2000 calories all right so a little bit longer of an update it's been what four minutes on this update but you can see everything that I, I have planned and all that I want to do as far as management of this colony so I did a little bit of testing down here I need to put a miner Ooh, not a sling guard bad 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 all right put a miner right here this gray is actually the clay this white is gypsum and this darker brown is iron. So 
as of right now, all we need is the clay. So we're not even going to worry about any of the others. We can recruit another guy. Also, now that we have over 50 colonists, we can complete this. Does this do anything? Happiness requirement. Can we not complete that? Oh, no. Minimum net happiness required. We are losing happiness. Crud. Go give them more. Give them more candles. Give the people what they want. Get the happiness back up, please. I think we can do it. We got zero, zero, and we're over 50. So if we complete that, very nice. Also, archery is completed. Our basic science bag, we're gonna start that. Cause now that we have somebody mining clay, where was that made? It was in the, shoot, that here? Where were the bricks made? Uh, oh, it's in the furnace, that's right, 24. We're working on that. That will be made today. Should already have 100 bronze ingots. He's working on the brick. All right, so let's actually take a look up top what the extra range looks like. How much do we get? Oh, wow, we get a substantial amount. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is ten in every direction. That's gonna be really nice. It's gonna be so helpful. The question is, do I redo my walls right now? I don't think we do. We'll wait until we get to probably probably where we get like 250. So that's gonna take our colony all the way, probably to like right here. That'll be really nice. And then we'll just utilize the extra space for our more, more of our farms. Maybe this whole mining underground is pointless. I think I may have made a mistake by taking on that task. To be determined. Another quick update. We are going to remove these nighttime guards. Our two slinger guards. And adjust to having a bow guard there. And a bow guard there. Missing item bow. Ooh. What do we need in order to craft a bow? We can get a sling that's going to be crafted in the workbench, I know. Hmm. Let's go check the workbench and see what's needed for the bow. What the heck? Where's the bow crafted? Gosh dang. Would it be in here? No. Maybe, maybe in here? No, it wouldn't be there. Oh, bummer. Should be able to handle the zombie invasion with two less bow guards. Where would it be crafted at? I've got every, everything that I can see. Oh, it might be made in the anvil. Oh, screw it. We're just going to go here, here, here. Drop one here, and already right, checked here. It's not there. I don't know. I just don't know. Oh my gosh, it's a bloodbath! Look at them all! Doing work! Good job, fellers. Keep up the good work. I've already gone through Ugh, 200 stones. 200 slingshots. Good job. I commend thee. We have completed the basic science bag. I don't 
know what it does. I think it is just a material to be utilized in research. It unlock a lot. So the digger, we need the basic science bag, which is going to be built here, I believe, in the tailoring. Nope. Would it be made at? I don't think we can craft it ourselves. Cruddily crud! Workbench? Workbench, maybe? Maybe? No? Furnace? No. 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 Linen bag. That's not the basic science bag. Hmm. Do we need it? We need 30 of them. Basic science bags. Required to research basic science. Thank you for that extremely meaningful, extremely meaningful input. But where the heck are they made? Oh well, what else have we got? Stonemason who can craft different varieties of brick. Iron smelting. Unlocks the recipe of the kiln, the bloomery, iron rivets. Okay. Hmm. We're not going to do that one just yet. I, I'm still focused on the digger because if I don't have to dig all of this out by hand, oh, it's going to be so nice. Let's figure out the stinging science bag. Science bag. Please. I'm still not seeing it. Oh, there's the bow. Which requires planks? Are we out of planks? Are we out of logs? Oh shoot. There is a hang up. Because all of our wood is going towards firewood. It means we need more foresters. Foresta. Which I am definitely going to keep up on the top layer. I actually put two in. It's worth doing once, it's worth doing again. There. Now, recruit these two foresters. And then that should bring in enough wood to get a bow. Which means these two archers will be able to help protect the colony. What are you missing? You missing anything? I don't think you're missing anything. You're just, you're, you're lying to me. You are both liars. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to make the basic science bag. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I cheated. What was I researching? Uh, I don't think I can complete anything. Yeah. Complete? Yeah, we're not even close to being there. All right, so we're gonna start the digger. I'm going to uh, admit that I did cheat. I didn't realize that I had unlocked a new workbench. The technologist table. Let's set you uh, there. Oh, all you can do is the science bag. Let's recruit a worker to start working here. And as soon as you create a bunch of these bags, may as well just set it to 20 if this is all you can make right now. Copper tools, bronze plate, bricks, and linen bags. The so brick and linen bag are the ones that I'm mainly concerned about. We got 24. Linen bag. Linen bag. No, I've got linen bags here. There we go. 10. Let's bump that up to, let's say, 20. And then brick was in the oven. I can never remember where the brick was. Furnace. There we are. Let's bump you up. 45. Ooh, we do not have firewood. Which, also, firewood. If we go into science, splitting this, the splitting stump, start that too as well. Bronze axe and science bag. That will help craft firewood more rapidly than a workbench. That way we can have a colonist specifically making firewood. So I'm sure you've gathered and you've seen this corner area over here is going to be for all my workbenches. And then this out here is going to be for growing food. So that'll be nice. 
Success! 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 We did it! We've got our archers online. Our Mr. Bowman up here. Shooting away. So these guys have a range of 20, I believe. Look, guards. So slingers have a range of 12. Archers have a, a range of 20. They have more HP, but my main concern is they take a lot longer to reload. I wish you could see the damage on it. But match lock. Oh, it only takes 12 seconds to reload there. I thought it'd be more than that. Because they got a 30 block range. I think I might just spam crossbowmen. It's an extra four seconds reload for only another five blocks. Probably not worth it. We got a problem. We are running out of barley for our chicken farmers. So therefore, we get more barley down here. Boop. I said boop. It's got to be. Oh, what are you out of over here? Copper stuff. Copper tools. Can I craft that? Yeah, I got 1,200 copper. What is the hang up, guys? I need those science bags, I think is what they're called. All right, come over here. Let's bump that up to 15. All right, and you are missing wood, 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 wood. And I just make, I don't think I can make the firewood. Oh, I can't make firewood. And as far as science goes, we can complete the splitting stump. Yes. Which I'm going to put down two of those immediately. And then soon enough, I will, I don't know why I crafted that. Splitting stump. Do I have one in my inventory? Whatever. I don't care. Ain't nobody got time to look for that. So recruit these two. And let's just bump that up to 140. We have temperate logs like crazy. So we didn't even need those two uh, foresters up there. I'm gonna keep them, but I really didn't need it. You know what? Who is struggling? Brick. Are you really struggling to keep up with brick? Oh, it's the firewood that you're... The, the big hang up is firewood. These guys are making planks. And then once they catch up on planks, then they will hit firewood hard. Let's bump firewood up to maximum. That way, as soon as they craft a plank, they're going to start making firewood. See? And then that way, these guys, as soon as their bars reach the end, they will head over to the crate, pick up the firewood, and get back to work. Crisis averted for now. Our food is starting to drop, though. I just saw that our food is going down. And that is not good. I need to get a handle on that again. So I switched this guy to having brick as a high priority because our science bags need brick. Because our research for a digger needs science bags. I think we've got plenty of bronze pickaxes, but the science bags are the big hang up here. Um, let's actually bump our pickaxe stockpile up to 10. I lied. Let's bump that up to 20. You're done with everything else, so we're just going to hold you. Wait, what? Why? 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 Requires a bronze ingot. Bronze ingot and planks. Why did you just start doing what I told you not to do? It should also be nighttime very soon. Alright, so he is making that. You don't have planks. Ooh. You're making planks, though. 
But as soon as you make a plank, you start making firewood. Oh, the tough dance that we are in right now. Hard to figure out the best way to do this. I think we have a new zombie style. We've got a red zombie. We've got a red zombie. Our ammunition is good. But what does the red zombie do? Does he move fast? Or does he just... Is he just beefy? Also, I think the arrows do deal more damage. Oh, there's a red zombie. Missed it. I don't know what it is. I think the, the archers do deal more damage. They are definitely worth it. In fact, I will probably switch out these slingers for archers now. I think that's a smart thing to do. All right, well, red zombies don't seem to be a problem as of yet. I just saw this. I want to research this so that I can buy so seeds, dirt, and other miscellaneous items. I want to be able to buy dirt. It's not that big of a deal to go out there and mine a little bit of dirt. But boy, this was annoying. This is this couple thousand dirt here. Eh, maybe not quite 2,000, but definitely over 1,000. Just right here. Also, this noise is getting, it's getting to me. This is it. Wait, why does it say cancel? Wait, why does it say cancel? Why does it say cancel? It's completed. Okay, there, now it says complete. Moment of truth. Does the digger actually remove uh, the end of the manual labor? I got an achievement, says the end of the manual labor. This might be it. So construction, digger area. How does this work? <gasps> oh, yes. Uh, remove that. Okay, so uh, I think... What if we hit here? Construction job, no construction area nearby. Do I have to create a construction area? I'm so confused how to do this. I had it a second ago. Construction. Construction job? No. Nope. Construction digger area. Is this really it? Okay, come over here. Now the question is, how long is it gonna take this? Oh, too large. That's too large? Construction job. So let's recruit to fill all the jobs. Okay, now is somebody actually assigned to there or not? Oh, okay, so I can hit three. Let's do four. Let's get four of you guys in there. We recruit to fill all jobs. So now it would seem that these guys, one, two, three, four, are going to work on digging right there. I am very excited to see how that goes. Also, I am a little worried about happiness and food, bringing those guys in. All right, are these my diggers? Look at them go, the red shirts. Wait, why are you going that way? Wait, guys, 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 over here. What kind, what kind of children, what kind of children are you? Here we go, all right. All right, let's get, let's get in position so now we can see, watch them walk into the room. All right, you're, gonna, you're just gonna start digging? Yes, you do. Oh no, please. I'm 
gonna set this right here. Wait, why, why, why are you not actually? Oh my goodness! I don't think they actually removed the item. This was me. These two were me. Where are you guys going? Oh, it's the end of the day. Dang it! Ugh! Does it start over here? Okay, so they stand there, and no matter where they're at, it just starts where you initially dropped your your corner. All right, so that works, that works, that works. I'm happy. I am very pleased that that's how it works. All right, and so I'm gonna let that run a little while. I'm gonna figure out how to get my happiness back up. I'm going to probably bring in more wheat down here. Let's take a look at our bread situation. Our bread's about staying about the same. Wheat the same, flour the same. So I need to figure out a way to research something that's gonna make my guys happier. And then once I figure out how to do that, I'll be back and I'll update you. I think I have it figured out. We are going to work on wax tablet. This is a item that brings happiness. And the only thing that we are missing is an iron smelting, which requires science bags and we have that. So we're gonna start the science research. Once that finished, that's gonna unlock a ton of other things. But the biggest one is wax tablet so that we can make our, our villagers happy again. Because right now, they're not very happy. Also, it is looking like barley is still really low. We need more barley. Hi, barley farmer. Hi. Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Go to work. Go to work with all your friends. Look at them all go. All 67 of them. So here we are. It's like early morning of the next day and we already have iron smelting basically completed very happy with that oh come on dang you minus one happiness i'm watching i'm watching it's happening it's gonna happen really you gotta go back you can't just finish it Completed! Now wax tablet. We'll start that. I'm a little concerned. What about this? If we look at it, happiness value says 35. Happiness value says 30. So is it worth getting rid of some candles in order for a wax tablet? I don't know. It's got to be. It's it's deeper into the it's deeper into the uh, the skill tree, so it's got to be better. So once wax tablet is finished, I'm just gonna start all of the others. Really don't care. So furnaces. Let's take beeswax up to two hundred. Let's take your bags. Those are fine. Olive oil, let's pop that to 150. Oil, water, 150. Why not? I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. Ooh, iron ingots. We're into iron now. Okay. So now that we are into iron. Ooh, I'm hesitant to do this yet. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to do it yet. But I'm going to start clearing out these areas down here. So we can get people mining resources around here. I lied. I'm doing it right now. Iron and gypsum. And let's recruit those two. A barley farmer should be working out there. I just hired another one for down here. How is it looking? 235 barley. That's pretty good. Now I still feel like happiness is 
going to be a huge hindrance. I'm not too worried about food. I am stockpiling fish and lobster. Let's take a look on these diggers. See how they're doing. Oh, nice. Look at them go. All right, well, I feel bad for spending two hours, three hours doing this whole section. Eh, I don't feel too bad. I learned. I learned. So I can't get iron ingots because I think I need a kiln. Which I'm going to place right there. Uh, these aren't iron ingots. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. What else are we missing over here? A bloomery. Hmm. Bricks. I might be getting too far ahead of myself. As far as happiness and food. But whatever, we we can always kill a few villagers and bring it back within a reasonable amount. I figure the reason why I didn't have any of the iron stuff is because I needed to build a kiln, which I did. But in order to use the stuff for the kiln, I also need the bloomery. But I'm out of bricks. Every last bit of clay that was being mined was being used up immediately. So I put one more clay miner down there. Also, I'm a little worried about these guys getting overrun. We're starting to get quite a few zombies here. So I come up here most nights and just check on it right as the initial big wave hits. Because usually every night, about two minutes into nighttime, there's one big crash of zombies. The bloomery. Oh shoot, where'd it go? I crafted one. Oh boy. There it is. Hot bar. Spot number one. Set it down and let's hire somebody. Hey. Fruit to fill that job. And iron ingots, lead and silver ingots. Charcoal, iron ore, and charcoal. So you are crafting up a ton of charcoal. I don't think I need copes just yet. So let's take charcoal up to 30. Wait, firewood. You are finished? Well, make more science bags then. Take it up to 50. Take it up to 50 there, big boy. And I'd imagine you're made in the workbench. Ooh, maybe the furnace. Furnace. Nope. That's what it is. The anvil, of course. So 50 rivets. 15 wrought iron. 10 swords and all that fun stuff. So what can we do right now? Stone block. Basic science bag. Prior science bag. Unlock stonemason who can craft different varieties of bricks. I don't want that yet. I think I want this guy. Bronze ingot and science bag. Because then we can get dirt. So when those yahoos are digging out this whole giant section, we can grab the, the, the dirt from the merchant, the mints and shops. We can buy our dirt instead of having to go mine it ourselves. Fire stove. Sure, let's do that. That seems easy enough. And fish meal. Grab that as well. We're making pretty good progress. My favorite thing of today, though, has been that these guys are mining out this whole section, and I don't even have to lift my pickaxe. Look at them all diligently working over there. Aren't they cute? 